In this video, I will show you how to use the trim and cut features in YouTube's built-in video editor. This is useful if you shoot a single continuous take with your phone or camera and want to trim off parts at the beginning and end or cut parts out of the middle of the video. We're going to take this step by step for people who are new to YouTube. First, you'll need to go to youtube.com on a computer, click your profile icon in the top right, then click on YouTube Studio. This is assuming you have already uploaded the video directly from your phone. If you haven't uploaded the video yet, you can do that from a desktop after first transferring the file to your computer, clicking the Create button, clicking Upload Video, then selecting the file you want to upload. But again, for now, we're going to assume you have already uploaded the video. To find a video that you've already uploaded, click Content on the left-hand side in YouTube Studio. This will give you a list of all of your videos. I should have mentioned earlier that if you plan to edit a video after uploading, you should make sure you set the visibility to unlisted when you first upload it so other people can't see it. Then, after you finish ed the editing, you can switch this to public so the video is public on YouTube. Find the video you want to edit, hover over it with your mouse, and click the pencil icon to bring up the video details. On the video details page, select editor on the left hand menu. This will bring up an editor with several different options, including blurring parts of the video and adding audio, which we're not going to cover in this video. We're just going to look at the trim and cut feature. Click on that button to add a new trim. So you can see here, I have the timeline for the entire video from the beginning to the end. This video is only 11 seconds long. This highlighted blue area has two ends that you can click and drag to trim the beginning and end of the video. You can click anywhere on the timeline to see that point in the video, and you can also use the controls here to play a preview of the video, skip ahead 10 seconds, or backward 10 seconds. If you want to zoom in to get finer control over the trim, you can use the plus and minus buttons here, and then use this horizontal bar scroller at the bottom to scroll left and right. So for example, if I wanted to zoom in as far as possible to decide exactly where I'm going to trim the beginning of the video, I can do this. Then I can zoom back out to see the whole thing. That is for trimming the beginning and end of the video. If you want to cut part out of the middle of the video, you can select new cut here. And then you can either drag this red section on the timeline to cut part out of the middle of the video, or you can manually enter the times here for the beginning and ends of the cut. When you've decided where you want to put that, click the checkbox and it will show where it's going to cut the middle of the video out. You can now see that if I hit play, it will skip over the part that I have selected to cut. If I want to edit that cut, I can hover over it, click the pencil icon, and change it. Again, after I hit the checkbox, now when I hit play, it will skip over that cut in the video. You can add another cut by again selecting new cut, dragging where you want this one, then clicking the checkbox. You can also delete a cut if you decide you don't want it by mousing over it and then clicking the delete button. Confirm delete cut to get rid of it, and then you can always hit new cut to go back and add it if you change your mind again. When you are all done with your trimming and cutting, then you can either to choose to discard changes, which will get rid of everything, or click the save button to save these changes to the video. You will get a confirmation that warns you about a few things. First, especially for longer videos, it might take a few hours for your changes to apply, so you still won't want to publish it away, publish it right away, if you have the video unlisted, you don't have to worry about this, but if the video is already public, viewers will continu continue to see the current version of the video. You also won't be able to make additional changes to the video while it's processing, but YouTube luckily will store the original version of the video. So if you want to come back later and undo or change these cuts, you can still do that. You go ahead and hit save here. And then while you wait, you don't have to stay on this browser tab. YouTube will just continue to do this in the background 
So you can go somewhere else in YouTube Studio or even close this tab and then you'll be okay. You will want to check on the content tab and see here that it says processing up to HD. So it is still processing the video. You want to wait until that note goes away. You can see my other videos here are already fully processed. They don't have this processing notification. Once that is done, then you can flip the video to public and your edited video is ready to watch.